Hey, Will here from PPC Coach. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to make $10,000 in a month using print on demand. So the product that I'm going to show you today is a message card. And this one is from Gearbubble. You can sign up for this um, for free for the platform to use it. Now, I use the platform for this. I don't use the Shopify store. I don't use that too. I don't use any of that. Just because one main reason, I don't have to do any customer service when I use a platform like this. So it's awesome. Anyway. This is what it looks like. It's just a message card. It says, Happy Mother's Day. Uh, this can, You can switch out any text you want. I'm just using this as an example. But the price is $79.95. It says, Happy Mother's Day right from the start. You were the one who nurtured me, prayed over me, worried about me, guided me, and supported me in every pursuit. Thank you for being there every day. And just the love I needed. Uh, I love you. So the cool thing about Gearbubble uh, is you can do this. And you can uh, offer gift wrapping. And you can also allow your customer to put in a custom uh, message. And the other thing is there's a standard box and then there's a, an upgraded box. And there's actually an LED light in this. So when they open, it shines the LED down. This, uh, this mock-up doesn't do it justice. It's actually a lot nicer than that. So people buy it now and that's all cool. So what do you make on this? Well, here it is. So I'm in, I'm in the Gearbubble launch dashboard. And you can see it looks like this. You have to upload your image. But if I price this at $79.95, then my profit per sale is right here, $65. So now you're thinking, whoa, that's crazy. Well, it's mainly because this is actual, it's like real materials. Um, it's not cheap plastic or anything like that. Like it's high quality stuff. So if we look at a goal of something like $10,000 per month, how are you going to get there? Well, you need to look at, uh, set some numbers first. So I have this little sheet here that I use. So if I have a retail of $79.95, the base cost right now is $14.95 on that product. Meaning somebody goes here, they buy it, they pay $79.95. So Gearbubble collects the money. Okay, they collect $79.95 plus shipping. So shipping is like $4.95. The customer pays the shipping, so you don't have to worry about that. So it's $79.95. Gearbubble will subtract $14.95 from my profit. And then Gearbubble will put... Uh, $65 into my account with them, which I can then withdraw whenever I want. So I, I tend to withdraw daily. You know, once you're really rolling, you want to withdraw daily. So you have money coming in every day. And then I just did a little uh, start and an increment here. So if you start at like one unit sold per day, then your daily profit is $65. Your monthly profit is 19 or 1,950. Yearly, that'd be 23,725. So to hit that, um, to get one sale per day, traffic wise, traffic meaning people looking at your product online. So how many people actually landed on this landing page? It would take a hundred people landing on this landing page at a 1% conversion rate to get one sale. So look at this. So if you go up to 2%, all of a sudden you only need 50 people instead of a hundred. So that's pretty cool. Um, I, want to be very conservative though because i'm considering this like cold traffic as in people who have never really heard of you before at all and they're just like searching around on online and seeing you know they're not really looking for stuff but you show them this and then like oh man that's really cool i'm gonna buy that give it to my mom so the the magic number that we're looking for is ten thousand per month so on this one i mean if you get to five sales per day you're almost there you're just 250 dollars short so if you go to six, you're over $10,000 per month. So all you need <clears throat> to hit $10,000 per month is six sales of this per day. Okay. So six sales per day is basically, let's get my calculator, 180, right? <laughs> I should be able to do this. Yeah, 180 sales a month. So you might be thinking, whoa, that's a lot. It's not really. Um, during the, the big runs during the fourth quarter and around the holidays, there are guys that are doing numbers like even me i've done i've had days where i've done 200 sales in a day so it is totally totally possible but um it takes a while to get there like you're not gonna just start out in this business and and get to um, 180 sales a month or like five sales a day you know it's gonna take some time and that's the part where people get tripped up because they're like okay if i know you know right here i need six sales per day uh, so i need 600 people at a one percent conversion rate to get that six sales. So where am I going to find this? Where am I going to find these 600 people? Well, let's go back here for a sec and I'll show you. So we've got our sales page. 
get my sales page so I'll draw this out for you sales video sales page there it is so this is our sales page and this is in my case it's the uh, Mother's Day this is what's called a message card there we go. so I've got this this is my sales page on Gearbubble I have to get 600 people looking at this sales page every day so I have options I can do free traffic so let me look at this so let's go to say I have a Facebook page well that's free traffic so we'll call this Facebook page and all I do is, is I post on my Facebook page and then people look at that and if they like it they'll click through and they'll buy it so there's a couple there and then what I can do is also start up like a Facebook group if I wanted Right, so I post my message card as a post in my Facebook group. People like it, they go and buy it. And then what else I can do is I can go to, like, say I have an Instagram account. Well, I can certainly post my product on my Instagram account. And they click it, and hopefully they go and buy it. And then also I have a Pinterest account. So people are like, there's tons of traffic on all these social networks. Okay, so I've got a Pinterest account, I post my product on it, people buy it. And then also, maybe I've got, um, what's it, Twitter. I've got a Twitter account. So there are five social media places that are free that I can post my products. And if people like them, they'll buy them. Okay, now that's just one aspect. The other aspect is, let me move this over paid traffic so this is the free side so this doesn't cost you anything but there's also paid traffic so now I can go to Facebook again and I could run some ads and I could send those ads to my product and the ad is just a picture of my product saying hey Mother's Day is coming up you might want to buy this right I could also go to one of my favorites right now TikTok and I could run some ads Okay, now, um, Facebook ads are, they used to be like the king of the hill, but slowly but surely TikTok has taken over that mantle. Okay, now there are other places I can run ads too, like I could go to uh, Google, Google ads. And with Google ads, uh, I could run like search, I could run YouTube ads, I can run um, display ads, so banner ads, I can do a whole bunch of different things there. Those are the three main ones for ads. And there are other like kind of smaller networks too that you can buy ads on like Bing from Microsoft. Uh, you can run ads there. Actually, I don't even know if they're still around. I haven't run them in so long. But what I like to do is follow a system. So I'm going to show you my system now because you're like, okay, that makes sense. So I can post here, I can post here, I can post here, I can post here for free. Then I, you know, maybe I find a winner. Like one of these message cards does really well. So then I'm going to fire up some paid traffic so I'm going to run some Facebook ads and TikTok ads and Google ads so really when you're trying to hit $10,000 a month uh, you're you're wearing a lot of hats so you're a researcher you're a designer you're a kind of tech guy and then you've got to be a marketer as well so that's why I think people find this business so difficult because um, it's hard to put these are like a whole bunch of different puzzle pieces and each one has their own little intricacies and then it gets to the point where you're like Okay, if I have one product and it doesn't work, then I got to repeat this all for the second product. And hopefully that works. If it doesn't, I got to repeat this all for a third product. So what I like to do is kind of automate things more. So I'll actually automate the posts on the free part so that I set it up once and then I kind of forget it. Okay, and I use some programs in order to do that. And on this side, I'm really only running traffic to stuff that I've already found was getting sales on the free traffic side. So you're like, well, that sounds pretty cool. That sounds like a good system. Here, I'll give it to you. <laughs> so this is my five-step system at a very high level. So step one is research. You have to look around. And if I want to sell that message card, this one, um, then what I'm what I what I'm going to need to do is find like other ones as well that I want to do. So I, I did come up with this saying, or I found it. And there there are multiple places to research. If you go to even Etsy right now. And you go like this, Mother's Day, well here, yeah, 
Mother's Day. I'll, we'll, they call it a necklace over here, but it's actually well, that whole first page of them. So here you see a whole bunch of them. Actually, let me go back to the first page. There. All of these are the same thing. They're message cards. Okay, so here's here's a nice one. That one caught my eye. So it just says, because of you, I know I'll be okay when I'm stressed, anxious, or not feeling well. Because of you, I know struggles are temporary. Thank you for everything you do. I love you to the moon and back. So there you go. Star seller, 6,500 sales, and probably selling a lot of these message cards. Well, face masks too, I guess. But this is where you go to, to find these things. And then you can kind of make a note of what, what looks nice and uh, you can create your own very easily too. So anyway, research is the first part. Get a whole bunch of ideas. Then you have to create the design. So this person either had a designer create this or they created it themselves. So you can see there's a couple of floral things in the corners, some simple text and then more simple text and then a nice ornamental piece. And then they put like a gold stripe over here just to make it look different. That's kind of cool. I'm, I think what I've noticed is the, the absolute best sellers are the ones that are more text-based than anything. So something like this one here with the hearts in the background, I don't think it would do as well as something like this, like just black. Now that says to my daughter, but uh, like black background, white text, and that's it. Or this one. So let's have a look at this one too. The, the text-based ones seem to do best. So you can see this company is Shine On. And they're really good too. They actually have it in a nice uh, mahogany box. And that one, well, just a tip on the side, when you're, when you're on Etsy kind of researching, just take the uh, number of re reviews and divide it by like 0.1. And that'll give you the approximate sales. Now, that number could be way higher than 290. But you got to figure, if it, if it has reviews for this item, it means people are buying this item. So, And again, when you see a store that has this many sales, on Etsy, go to the store and have a look. Now, I would actually bookmark this store too because you know that they're getting a ton of sales. And you can go through and see all these products are message cards that they're selling on Etsy. And they're getting a boatload of sales. And you can see how many they have on the side here. So they have 561 message cards listed. Just crazy. All different types. But my example was Mother's Day. But anyway. Um, going back here, so you've got research, you've got your design done. You can use Canva, you can use Photoshop, you can use um, Photo P is a free version of Photoshop, or you can go to uh, Fiverr and you can outsource these too. There's a lot of designers on there that will create those for you. Then you just upload it. So you go to a place like here, uh, in this case it's Gearbubble, but you could also use Shine On as well. So um, both those places run these message cards. Uh, so you're going to upload that to the platform, or you could create a Shopify store, or you could create an Etsy shop. So if you go with a Shopify store or Etsy shop, the only downside of that is you have to do customer service. So on Etsy, when some when you make a sale, they're going to contact you and ask you questions. And the main questions are, where's my product? I ordered yesterday. Where's my product? Same with Shopify. You'll get a lot of questions that are, they're the same. So, I mean, it, it will drive you batty after a while, the customer service side. So... A lot of people just outsource the customer service. Um, I just skip that whole thing and I go with the platforms direct. That's why my style is a little bit different than everybody else and doing print on demand without a store. All right, so you've got the research, you got the design, you've got it uploaded, ready to go. So you're kind of at this stage now. So what you need to do is you have to get traffic to it. So you get the free traffic first, and then when you find your winners, you get the paid traffic. You start running paid traffic. And that's what this looks like. This is the free side. This is the paid side. So you were thinking, well, it sounds kind of easy, but kind of complicated at the same time. Uh, you're right. <laughs> so if you've never done this before, uh, you're probably going to have a lot of questions. And that's where you can go to me. Just go to my site. Okay. Um, it's right here. ppc-coach.com. And I can help you out. So on there right now, I think there's a page, just an intro page. But you enter your uh, email and I'll send you information. You get on the mailing list. But basically, I run group coaching. And the doors are currently closed as I'm shooting this, but they open up uh, every once in a while. So I got a group coaching program where I teach stuff. I also do one-on-one. -on -one. And then I'll run boot camps uh, throughout the year. And I've got a course I'm working on too, another one. I put out multiple courses on this, but that's kind of what I do. So I actually do this stuff and then i teach people how to do this stuff so i live in kind of both worlds i practice what i preach but if you do need help go there 
Um, also, uh, if you like the video, you got some value from it, just uh, like it, uh, subscribe to the channel. Uh, there's more of this kind of thing coming out where I'll give you different examples too. It's, you're not limited to just uh, this product. I love this product because it pays so much. But if we go back here to select your product, you'll see all the options. So with Gearbubble and Print On Demand, you can do coffee mugs, t-shirts, pillowcases, posters, all over prints, laser engraved, shot glasses, travel mugs, tumblers, wine glass, masks, camper mugs. Those are kind of cool. They got like a steel rim. You can do ornaments. You can do candles, which is really neat. And then that's the one I was showing you, the precious jewelry. So you got, what's that? Four, eight, 12, uh, 15 different options here with Gearbubble alone. And then the other company is Shine On, which I'll probably do a video on them too, just to show you, because their interface looks uh, totally different. So anyway, that is uh, the answer to the question. You know, how how would you make like $10,000 a month? Well, you would fire up a bunch of these and not everyone's going to work either, by the way. So you have to do multiple uh, products in order to find the winner. And then when you find the winner, you scale the winner. So that's the way this whole business model works. It's a lot of upfront work in order to get it going. Once you learn the system, it does get pretty easy though. Uh, not easy, but easier, I should say. I mean, there's a lot of details that I had didn't cover in this video, but that's where like my group coaching program, I do live training sessions in there. And my one-on-one, -on -one, I actually, you know, we share screens and do everything together. So anyway, if you have any questions, post them in the comments. I'd love to help you out. And if you like the video, uh, let me know. Have a great day and we'll see you in the next one.